and welcome to my channel. My name is Mariana and you're watching Lucifer's Library. In today's video, we are doing my summer reading challenge. So in my reading journal, I have this summer reading challenge that I have specifically dedicated to the three months of summer. Every year I go to my vacation in Croatia with my family and I just grab a bunch of books. <laughs> in previous years, I brought even up to a hundred books with me because I would like to have options. And then I just read, read, read. And normally in two weeks, I would read around 25 books. That's why this summer reading challenge has so many prompts. I don't have any specific books to go with them, but if I do, I'm gonna let you know. And I'm just going to introduce the prompts and if anybody wants to do it with me, that's completely fine. But if not, this is a video for me to look back on to see how many prompts I've actually filled out and managed to read for. But yeah, without further ado, let's just get started. First prompt a book about a road trip. So when I think of summer, all I think about is road trips, having fun with your friends and just enjoying life. So I think that's a one must have for this TBR. I just really need to read at least one book about a road trip because I don't read them often enough. And then second prompt is a book you loved. Now this has two meanings. Either it could be a very general prompt um, where you just read a book that you were in the mood for that doesn't fit any of these prompts um, But you still want to count it. So it's here or it is a reread of a previous book that you loved and You can count it here prompt number three a book with summer romance So when I put this prompt in I was thinking either the summer I turned pretty I think that's a good one or second chance summer, although that's not really a romance, but it doesn't have to be in the forefront of the book. It can be in the background. A book under 200 pages, a short story. It can be anything you want. It just has to be under 200 pages. Prompt number five, a book that takes place on an island. Now you can pick up a thriller here as well. It doesn't have to be contemporary. You can read anything you want, but it takes place on an island. Question number six, you know I had to count this in, okay? It is enemies to lovers. It is the superior trope, I love it, has to be in there. One book with enemies to lovers, it could be fantasy book, it could be sci-fi, whatever does it for you, enemies to lovers. Prompt number seven is a book I should have read in high school. So this is a book that everybody has read in high school that was popular in high school, but you never got your hands on it. This might be nostalgic. For me, for example, Matched, Uglies, um, what else was popular? Twilight, ooh, House of Night, that was also popular when I was in high school. So, you know, books like that, books that take you back, way back when. <laughs> Prompt number eight is a book about best friends. Again, very broad, but for me, I would count, for example, Since You've Been Gone by Morgan Matson. I've already read this, but Since You've Been Gone by Morgan Matson, it's about friendship as well. I personally, you don't have to do this if you decide to join, but I personally would count a book that has best friends in the forefront instead of the background, because then you could count literally any book, you know? Um, so it depends on how hard you want to make it on yourself and how much you hate yourself. Hi, editing me. So I just realized that I forgot prompt number nine, which is a book that made people cry. I think this is pretty self-explanatory, but if you need a recommendation, this is a summer book that will make you cry. This, or maybe we were liars, but that is honestly debatable for some people. Some people don't like it, some people do. Um, I would also suggest, I don't know, The Fault in Our Stars. That also made me cry. So whenever I think of the second chance summer, I think of The Fault in Our Stars. But yeah, that's just my recommendation and let's get back into the video. Okay, number 10 is a steamy read. Literally anything, anything you want as long as it has one spicy scene. Book number 11 is a book you can finish in a day. So that could be anything. Book number 12 is came out the year you were born. Not gonna lie, this one stresses me out because <laughs> I don't know what good books were from year 1998, but I guess I'll have to do research. Prompt number 13 is a beloved author. So whether it's be beloved to you or to other people, you don't have to read an author that is only beloved to you. So 
you can try a new author that everybody else loves you can stretch the prompt but technically it, it's not really cheating it's not stretching because it's such a broad statement prompt number 14 is a book or show adaptation now you could you can choose i'm thinking crazy rich asians or Jenny Han's books, The Summer I Turned Pretty, To All the Boys I've Loved Before, or you can go with, I don't know, The Hunger Games, Divergent, literally anything that has a book or movie adaptation. A, a movie or show adaptation. <laughs> Prompt number 15, read a book with strong family relationship. So I'm not talking about um, found family here, I'm talking about specifically family because we had all the other books where we're, I don't know, about best friends or, you know, just very broad, but here I want to have specifically family relationship. Yeah, and then prompt number 16 is a non-fiction read, broaden your horizons. And prompt number 17 is optional, but it is a Wattpad book. So a Wattpad published book, I would recommend in 27 days or Textrovert or um, Chasing Red. Now those were all my Wattpad favorite books that were published, but I need to read Clickbait. This is, I think, the last book that is a Wattpad published book that I have in my collection that I need to read, that I haven't read yet. That concludes all 17 prompts. Um, here's the thing. I know you noticed that there's a lot of prompts, and I'm gonna challenge myself to not allow myself to double up. Now, if you want to double up, if you by some miracle decide you wanna join, great, you can, you can double up, but you cannot triple up. Um, also, the because there's so many prompts, this will span, this is personally just a personal challenge for me, but it will span from June, so starting this month, and la it will last until the end of September, so you have June, July, August, and September. So four months. Technically, you should start on June 21st because that's when summer starts, but I'm going to start on June. And I'm going to end on September 23rd. And I'm going to try to read as many books as I can. 17 books is a good amount if you're not like doubling up and stuff. It's, it's a good amount. So I'm going to try to fulfill as many prompts in here as I can. Other than that, this sounds like a very fun challenge for me to do. Um, and I just wanted to make this video to either A, in invite you to join me, but mostly B, just to keep myself accountable and do this challenge. Because sometimes I just forget. Now this is just for fun and I hope that we all can have a beautiful summer together. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. You don't have to join if you don't want to. This is mostly just for, you know, holding myself accountable. And I hope you have a lovely, lovely day. And I will see you next time. Okay, bye!